So if you missed the last episode or the, the overview, um, there'll be an annotation around somewhere. I don't know, it'll, it'll be somewhere. Um, and there'll also be links in the description. But um, I didn't really get too much feedback on the parts and stuff uh, in the last episode, but that's, you know, kind of... I didn't expect to get that much feedback because most people don't really know how to build these things and, you know, what they, most, they just don't know what they're doing. And to, you know, some extent, I don't either. So this is going to be a learning, ex learning experience for me uh, as well as you guys. But of course, I'm going to do all my research before I do anything. So hopefully whatever comes through in these videos is, you know, correct. So in the last episode, I kind of gave you a parts list of what I wanted and what I was going to use. And that is pretty much unchanged apart from one or two things. I'm not sure if it was, I, th I think it's just one. But uh, either way, I'm going to go through all the parts that I've picked now. They are here, they've arrived, everything is fine and dandy and goody and it, it's all great. So let me just go over the parts that I have picked. So the first item you can see on my desk here is pretty damn huge. It is the case and it is a really, really nice case. I love this case. I've, I've seen it in a couple of videos. I was just looking around for a good case and I saw this one. I was like, that's really nice. And you can get it in, in black or in titanium. Uh, which is what this one is and I thought you know the titanium front looks really nice and it'll suit my kind of iMac color scheme kind of thing and I like having the buttons on top you can see it's got buttons on top it's got the power button uh, two USB 3 two USB 2 and then audio and, and all of that jazz in there but uh, the front opens up Ooh. and these things are pretty cool you can just snap in your stuff I remove the front as well you also have the, the fans here for like you can just see what fans you've got and you probably can't see from here, but the inside's basically got this insulated material for soundproofing, I guess. But it's so thin, uh, I really don't see how much difference it will make. But then again, the fans shouldn't be too loud anyway. So I guess the difference it will make is tiny anyway. But, you know, it's advertised as such and I have yet to try to see if it is... Uh, oh, sorry, that must have been loud. It's just, I've yet to try to see if it will be effective. So the case is the Fractal Design Define R4, which is really nice. This one, obviously, like I said, is in titanium covering. And yeah, it's it's a neat, nifty case. I could have gone a lot cheaper on this case, obviously, because this one will run me about £70 at the cheapest. But I think it's worth it just because I like to splurge a bit. But if you want to go for a cheaper case and save about 40 quid or 40 dollars, whatever you want, whatever then you can easily go for a cheaper case. I just went for the more expensive one because it will have all the space I need to maneuver and it will make it look nice and neat. And I just like this case. Moving on to the processor, I ended up getting an Intel i7-4770K. Now this one actually has the LGA1150 slot or the 1150 slot. So I have to get a specific motherboard. It doesn't really work with older motherboards because this is the newest, newest generation Haswell processor. It is four cores, but it's got like multi-threading. So it's got simulated eight cores. It makes a bit of a difference in terms of rendering and stuff, but we're using this for audio. But generally this is kind of the, the best processor you can get uh, for your cost, I guess, at the moment. Originally, I went for the i5 version, the i5 has well, which was, uh, yeah, 3.4 gigahertz. This is 3.5, but thanks to a donation uh, I received of 60 pounds, so I could upgrade to the i7. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for that. You know who you are. I will put a link down to your music channel in the description because you haven't done your gaming channel just yet. So yeah, the, the person whoever donated the 60 pounds the link to their kind of music channel, like I said, will be in the description. Uh, thank you very, very much for that. This is, <laughs> it's making this more powerful than my gaming computer, which is actually, I'm recording the audio on right now. So thank you very much. I do not like to compromise on tech either, but if, if you want to go for my original build, you still can. There's no reason why you, you can't go for the cheaper i5. Um, I chose it because it was a powerful processor and it the, the i5, uh, I can't remember what version it was. Uh, as long as it's got a K on it, it was the i5 um, overclockable version. Uh, as long as you get that one, you're pretty much set for the future anyway. You can overclock it, but the i7 has more threads, so it's always nice. Okay, in terms of power supply, we went for the Corsair CX500M for this thing. Okay, there's a little bit of a story with this one. Um, my current power supply in my gaming rig is 650 watts, I think, and it is a CIC or CIT um, cheap thing. It cost me 30 quid. And it's messy, like it's not modular, all the cables are just there, it's kind of really, it's jumbled up. If you look inside of my gaming rig, it's just really, really, really messy and I don't like it at all. And then 
the power, the, the fan, the heat sink and stuff, it doesn't really make it, it doesn't help it at all. So this power supply, 500 watts, is way more than I need because I don't actually have a graphics card with this uh, setup because I don't need it, this is for audio. If you want to buy a graphics card, then feel free. There's nothing holding you back to buy a 40 to like 100 pound graphics card and then you'll have exactly what is in an iMac anyway. So whatever your preference is for power supply, just get that. But I wanted this one because it's modular and someone suggested it to me. And they, they did say they took some liberties because it was a bit more expensive than what I originally listed. But this is, um, this is uh, gonna be a fairly decent item for any build. Okay, we're getting into the heart of the, the bits and the guts of the computer at the moment. We're going with uh, a gigabyte uh, Z87XOC. I had to read it off that because motherboards always have these stupid names. I don't really know why. It's just always like ZX. Blah, 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 blah. But um, this is specifically tailored to work with the new Haswell processors, which is why I said an older motherboard wouldn't work. So if you're going for a fourth generation CPU, you're going to need a motherboard that supports it because it works on a different uh, CPU kind of uh, socket. So this actually supports the uh, 1150 socket, which is all I needed. But it's also more expensive than cheaper options so you can get the like dhc or something there's a there's a cheaper version of this motherboard but i went for this one because in the future i want to overclock this rig because logic uses um like it, it runs on cpu power quite a lot it multiple threads and cores you can balance it out with plugins and stuff but in the end the more raw power you have the better so if you can overclock it then that means logic will run a lot smoother. So I got this because in the future, this allows the, the the CPU to be overclocked a lot easier, which is why it's called the OC edition. So fairly decent motherboard and it looks really nice on the inside as well. Um, we'll take a look at it when we build it. Okay, so my phone actually ran out of um, space on the memory card, so I'm gonna have to do this again, which is probably why the, the scene has changed slightly. Uh, but anyways, I was going to talk about the RAM. So the RAM I got was Corsair Vengeance 8GB. This is DDR3 1600MHz RAM. It's relatively cheap. It's got a massive heatsink on it, but that's not an issue with the cooling solution I'll be using later on uh, when I feel like overclocking, which is water cooling. Uh, I could have gone for overclockable RAM, but I didn't really want to because the difference is you know, not that high above 1600 uh, megahertz. And this is fairly cheap as it is. And I didn't want to go like really expensive because we are trying to build a, a, an iMac kind of thing. So eight gigabytes of RAM is what the I, iMac has and it will do me just fine. And if I use this in a motherboard, I can still do uh, buy more of these. So within with two um, RAM slots, I can have 16 gigabytes and full, I can have 32 gigabytes. Okay, so the hard drive, which is the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the Samsung uh, 840 Pro series. And it is a 256 gigabyte drive. This is the first time I've used a solid state drive. Like my PC could really benefit from this, but I'm not going to install it in on that. But um, the reason why it went for a solid state drive is because this is one of the main things that was blocking Logic from working on my MacBook. It was just horrible. It's the bottleneck. It can't read all the uh, data streams from the hard drive that's running at 5,400 RPM on the MacBook. And so we wanted, or I wanted something a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot faster. May not have the storage capacity of the what the iMac gives you, but it's a lot faster and it's just generally better. So if you can afford a solid state drive, please, please do. If you can't, maybe you can get a 10,000 RPM one, but that's got noise and mechanical parts and you don't really want mechanical parts in something you want it to be silent. So solid state drive, I'm really looking forward to using this. I got this one because it got really good reviews and people were saying, hey, you can get the SanDisk or you can get um, Vortex or whatever it is but this one just all around solid everyone says it's good there's no bad reviews I've seen of it so far so Samsung everyone okay that's it for the parts uh, the next video will basically be me building the thing um, it's gonna be interesting uh, to say the least I'm looking forward to it so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.